Hello everybody. Hello, hello. I am at Barnes and Noble. I'm actually in the Starbucks at Barnes and Noble. I've been out looking at properties. I've been to the building inspector's office. I've been by a seller's house. I wasn't able to talk to them, but I went by. So I'm out and about today. I usually talk to you from the comforts of home, but I am out and about today for Ask Quit Wednesday. So I only had two questions submitted, uh, and so I'll go through both those questions. Sherry asked a question about what kind of spreadsheet I use, and Daisy asked a question about forming an LLC. So I'm going to answer both of those questions, and if you have any other questions, you can post them up here. Otherwise, we will save them for next Wednesday at Ask What Wednesday. All right, so Sherry asked if I have any spreadsheets and if I would share them. I have lots of different spreadsheets, first of all, um, but a lot of those spreadsheets, I don't know if they'd make any sense to anybody else. I have a spreadsheet of all the houses that I've got under contract and how they closed, what happened with them. Yes, I have that one, and yes, I can share that one in the group. I have a spreadsheet of like yellow letters. I keep the Excel spreadsheet from all the yellow letters that I sent, and you know, if they responded or if they said take me off the list or if I went and looked and made offers, yes, I have those, of course. Um, but I think what Sherry was really wanting to know is like do I have a spreadsheet of properties and how much my payment is versus how much I'm getting in versus how much I had to put down was it ten dollars was it a hundred dollars was it five thousand dollars and how much did I get for my tenant buyers and I don't think I have a spreadsheet not like an Excel on that my accountant keeps up with that in QuickBooks so there is a, I guess, ledger of that stuff, but it's in QuickBooks, and I get P&Ls on that every month as to who paid or who was late or who still owes this or who's supposed to be closing then. I get all of those, and I will check and see what would be the best way to show you, um, I guess, how my accountant keeps up with all that stuff. So, I will work on that. Yes, I will. And I'll put it in the Rockstar group. So, it'll be over there for you, Sherry, whenever you want to go see it. Or anybody else that's a Rockstar, if they want to see that, and I'll put it up. Um, but yes, there is a spreadsheet. I think the best spreadsheet that I go off of is like the lead sheet spreadsheet. So, I'm also having lunch here. So... If you're looking at the lead sheet spreadsheet and you're talking about, you know, I talked to this seller, this was the problem, this is what they're asking, this is this, this is this. I actually use that Excel spreadsheet in my business and I give that to you in group coaching or one on one coaching. It should be in there. That's the best spreadsheet that I have that I go off of. Now, Jason is the spreadsheet king, he's a wizard in spreadsheets. I'm a paper and pen kind of girl. Um, so if you're asking really if I have a CRM or any kind of program like that I use, I don't. Paper and pen, I mail out the letters, I put the bandit signs out, and then I log them on lead sheets. Uh, the next question was, Daisy want to know if I had an LLC. When I started buying houses, I did not have an LLC. I had a verbal agreement with my brother that we were going to buy houses. And then we bought like three houses. And our accountant, Lindsay, told us we needed an LLC for protection. So we got our first LLC, and I used A to Z Properties LLC when I started buying houses. Our name was A to Z Properties LLC, and our slogan was Whitney Buys Houses. And that quickly morphed into. Whitney Buys Houses LLC and that's the LLC that I run under that's the LLC that I get contracts under that's the LLC that I use as my firm so my real estate firm 
in the state of Tennessee and in the state of Georgia is Whitney Buys Houses, LLC. And now, you know, all of our apartments are in their own individual LLCs. Tennessee has something called a um, series LLC where you can have one parent LLC and it owns three, four, eighteen, a hundred and fifty two baby LLCs. We didn't know that when we formed our apartment LLCs. So I have three apartment complexes and three LLCs, which means I pay Tennessee LLC taxes or whatever, $300 a year on all three instead of just having one with baby series LLCs. You live and you learn. I think I have nine LLCs right now. I'm trying to count them in my head. I think there's nine LLCs right now. So. You don't have to have an LLC. You can get a property under contract before you have an LLC. I have a friend named Tommy. He has been investing since way before I was born. He has zero LLCs. Zero. He has zero LLCs. It is not a requirement. It is strongly suggested that you have your properties in LLC, but it is not actually a requirement. You can buy houses in your own name. It is not very safe, it is not very smart, it is not something I recommend, but you can do it. And you can especially do one or two or three different assignments or flips or holds or whatever you wanna do before you get your LLC. And that way you let somebody else pay for creating your LLC. And I would encourage you to have your attorney or your accountant create your LLC because they'll know what your goal is and how to form it appropriately for, you know, tax incentives or tax benefits or this and that and the other. So I have nine and the accountant, my accountant set them all up. I told her what I wanted to be named and then she told me what I was named. <laughs> it was pretty similar to what I wanted, but it was a little bit different. All right, so those are our two questions for today. Is uh, Do I have a spreadsheet and will I share it? Yes, I will share it in the Rockstar group. Uh, I don't really use a CRM though, so nothing exciting to say there. And do you need an LLC before you buy properties? No, but it is strongly encouraged that you do get one pretty soon. When I started, I did not have an LLC, and no big deal just to you know change title and move stuff over when I did get an LLC. All right, y'all let me know if you have any other questions and I'll be back later. We only got about 60 yeses on that post that I put up yesterday, but I think 60 is pretty good. So I'm gonna talk to you about how to get 51.4% interest on a $13,000 investment later tonight. Probably about seven Eastern time, depending on whether or not Jason's taking me out to dinner. <laughs> All right, I'm going to enjoy my books and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.